Okay. This B cam's kinda fire. Just saying. Today we are talking about something simple that will save you so much time. Me personally, I use Google Drive to store all my files and back up most of my files. Whenever a project comes to an end, I tend to upload all of the RAWs, project files, everything, as well as saving it on a hard drive. But I definitely recommend you upload what you have to the cloud because me personally, I use the four to five terabyte Lacey hard drives for my hard storage, and those have a lifespan. They're not gonna last forever, so I like to have the peace of mind knowing that all of my RAWs, if I ever need to go back to them, are in the Google Drive, so they are there. Google Drive's not gonna go down. My Lacey, well, it might not turn on one day. I've seen it happen before and it sucks. But I did this over Christmas whenever I had some extra time and I push you to do this whenever you have time. Whenever you're sitting there, not necessarily knowing what to do. It's definitely a thing in a creative's life whenever you're starting out and you have time where you're just like, well, I don't, I don't know what to do today. I wanna to be productive, but I'm not necessarily sure what I can accomplish to benefit myself. This should be at the top of your list whenever you get to that point. Organization is so big, especially as you work on more projects at one time. It's easy to get disorganized whenever you have all of these different revisions to do and you might be dumping footage, run out of storage, you might start deleting random things and then you'll be screwed. So don't do that. Learn from my mistakes and let's get into it. So let's dive into my Google Drive. Right here you see this is it. Ignore these suggested files up here. But down here, you will see my base. This is just my content. I try to put it in subfolders so I know exactly how to get there. How I organize it, I go on there, double click on there. And now I have assets. Assets might be overlays. This might be area footage, stuff like that around the city that I end up tapping into and using this footage over multiple projects. The footage that is in here is not necessarily designed for a single one. So I like having this in an area where I can always access it. Business docs, this is where I have my project tracker. Something that goes along with my organization is always having a project tracker. Being ready and organized whenever you're not necessarily sure where a project is. Knowing where the footage is, have you dumped footage yet? Have you uploaded it to Google Drive yet? Having that all in one place, a list of your projects, knowing exactly where you are, it actually gives you peace of mind so then you know, oh, I'm completely done for the day. Or, oh, I got to the point that I needed to in this project. So now I'm good. The third thing is personal projects. This is this video right here. Once I'm done with this video, I'll upload all the raws. Also for the podcast, for the reels that you see on my Instagram, I upload all the raws here and then Pat, my editor, has access to it. Client projects is all of my client stuff. You know, anything that is not necessarily for me, which is how I make all of my money, that's where this lives. I upload the raws maybe to send to them. This is where I upload my drafts to send off. This is where all of my projects live that I'm getting paid for. So first, let's dive into client projects, actually. Client projects, I have it divided into all the years. I started really shooting in 2019. That's when my hard drives date back to. So that is where it starts all the way up to 2022. So you can see if you go into 2020, we know that this year is complete. So look at this. I have every single month ready to go. And the reason that I have the one in front of January two, February is actually just for organization um, so that I can have it in order in the list. So obviously you click name, you can flip it back and forth. That's why I have it there. It makes it super simple and it makes it just easy for you to know that it's all in order. So if I'm going in, I'm like, oh, I know I shot a project in August of 2020. Let's go in there. Here we go. I was shooting for Dula, which is a friend of mine's agency and also Liquid IV. The reason that next to their names, I have August 2020 is because if I'm searching for something and I want to look back and say, oh, I know that this project was for Dula in 2020, I can just go in the search bar and type that in and then I know what month it is. If I just put doula in there, I'm gonna have a ton of doulas because I shoot for them almost every month. That's where it gets difficult. That's where I kind of fine tune this as I went because it got difficult trying to find stuff even though I knew it was in the right folders. I didn't necessarily want to go folder by folder. Sometimes it's just easier to look it up. So you dive in here, look in here, and here are the different projects that I worked on. So now let's go back to the home base. We're talking personal projects now. This is a little bit different because it's not necessarily based on the month, it's based on episodes. It's based on different kinds of content. 
So personal projects go in here. This is my film rules. Any film that I shoot that's usually just for fun, I'll upload here. I just go in, these are the ones I've gotten developed and just so I have them and know that they're here and I don't have to keep the CDs that they give me my photos on. Stock footage, this is where I also store some of the footage that I know I might wanna use in my videos in the future. So along with assets, those files are actually copied over to this folder as well. Just because sometimes I'm in certain folders and wanna get them and it's just more accessible to have them multiple places. That is just personal preference. I really don't know if I recommend that or not. That's what I do though. Shoots for me, this is just stuff that I go shoot and it's divided just like the client projects. This is where my stuff lives that if it's family photos, if it's street photography, if it's random drone footage, this is where I go, this is where that lives so I know it's still backed up if I ever wanna go back to it. A lot of that stuff ends up going on the back burner and I don't necessarily touch it so I know I still have those RAWs, but it's not taking up storage on my active hard drives. And then the last thing we'll talk about is how I organize my personal content. This content right here, this that you're watching. Vlog, reels, project files, podcasts. These are the different things that I do. This is considered vlog just for my organizational purposes. I know it's not necessarily a vlog, but bear with me there. And Reels, you know, that's my Instagram reels, that's my TikToks that I post, the YouTube shorts, that's all the same content, and this is where I upload it. So I film them, I upload here for Pat to have, and I have what I'm ready for right now. So these are unedited, I know these ones have been edited, so I wanna shift that down to finished raws, so that is now in there. You know, this is for us to have, so he knows when it's not completely done yet, when he knows there's new content to be edited. So I'm actively shifting things around in here, but it's still organized. So if you go in the finished RAWs folder, these are all of the ones that we have done. These are all done, all RAWs. So I know if I, for some reason, need to go back and get this raw footage, it is here. But whenever he's done with them, he uploads the finished. So finished right here, these are the batch that is coming out soon. And right here, I can go and watch through and make sure that they are good. And finally, it's the same thing for the podcast. I upload the RAWs right here and I title them whatever I want, add the audio file as well because we really want to dial in the audio for those podcasts. And that's all it is. It's pretty simple as long as you stay organized. It will take a lot of time at first, but I recommend you do it. I know it's tough. I know it's always one of those things that you want to put on the back burner because it's not impacting your everyday life. But whenever you end up doing it, it will make a difference. Whenever you do it, it will actually set you apart. And if somebody texts you and says, hey, the shoot that we did four months ago, can I get the RAWs? They're easily accessible. And along with that, they're already uploaded. So you can just copy that link and send it to them. Just last week, John texted me and asked me for some footage. And because I was organized like this, already had it uploaded, I went and I just sent him that link immediately. I didn't have to wait the five hours to upload the 100 gigs of footage that I shot. I went ahead, I sent him that link and then it's completely off of my plate. It will save you the hassle. Come home, dump your footage, have it on your hard drive, do the entire project. Once the project's done, upload it to the cloud and you can pretty much forget about it. That's how I like to do it. That's how I recommend it. So thank you for watching. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next video.